ഒരു പരലിനെ എടുത്ത് ഒരു പരലിനെ എടുത്ത് ഉരുട്ടി ഉരുളിന്മേൽ വച്ചാൽ ഉരുട്ടി ഉരുമേൽ ഉരുളിന്മേൽ വച്ചാൽ ഉരുളിന്മേൽ വച്ചാൽ പരൽ ഉരുളുമോ പരൽ ഉരുളുമോ ഓക്കെ ഇവൻ in the malayalam film industry film industry like you want to collaborate with them i cannot uh, say just about one person so definitely uh, mamutti sir and monlal sir have you tasted our kerala food you make this uh, there's this this uh, sweet dish which is of banana right it's ete kya pa ah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. oh yeah i love that if you are given a chance to pick one of the young malayalam actors and do a movie in malayalam i think fahad has been a good friend so he is one person who's doing really well and i'm really uh, kind of proud of him he's doing great what is it one malayalam word that have actually given you the most difficulty many words like that and i have said many words wrong on the sets and people have bursted out laughing, laughing because there was another meaning to it on the sets it's like you know i'm doing the scene with another artist and we are talking something and behind you there's a frame it just suddenly falls and i'm like wow <laughs> something happened and i was like shocked and i was still it have got the a certification because of the violence and other stuff has it affected your image or your acting career in any way not at all because i think it all depends the way your director shows it i did it because it had logic hey everyone it's me dakshara vidunath for india glads so inna nammude ullathu valare special aayittulla or guest aanu or south indian actress aanu she is like she has got one of the most angelic faces that i have ever seen in my life ee actress ne putti parayumbothekum her fourth movie in malayalam is about to be released kaipaikka annana movie de name appo we have with us the very pretty the very charming sonia agarwal Hello. Hi. Welcome to India Glads. Thank you. How are you ma'am? How are you doing? I'm doing good. You have always wanted to act with Vijay. Ever since you been to the film industry, you have always wanted to act with uh, Ilai Talapathi Vijay. I'm, I'm, I'm Peri Resiga Bangalore. Yeah. Uh, but in that matter, in the Malayalam film industry, you have always wanted to act with Vijay. did you want to be uh, did you want to collaborate with them ingena i can't be like you know uh, mentioning only just one name i think you have two legendary actors here yeah. and 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 uh, both are superb actors it's uh, something that you know i cannot uh, say just about one person so definitely uh, mamutti sir and monlal sir All both right. of them so uh, i are you watching the newcomers uh, like we have a wide range of young malayalam actors as yeah. well like fahad fasil tino tovino thomas and nivin poli and a lot of them yeah. so if you are given a chance to pick one of the young malayalam actors and do a movie in malayalam who will ah uh, i think fahad has been a good friend since i did uh, uh, my film uh, with fasil sir and fahad at that time was not an actor and he used to come on the sets uh, and you know so we used to catch up and uh, so he is one person who's doing really well and i'm really uh, kind of proud of him because uh, uh, he's he's doing great and uh, uh, good good work he's doing and uh, uh recently i did watch uh, this movie of dilkar salman and i really liked the way he acted uh no not that one i mean i was little late to watch that but it, it it's a tamil movie uh, i think uh, mani ratnam sir's movie uh, ah, kanmani okay, kanmani okay, kanmani. okay kanmani. Ah, right. yes 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 that's a very nice one yeah that's a nice one so uh yeah so again coming back to kaipaka it's a movie about food right about dishes and everything have you tasted our kerala food foods and like which is one food that like you would really like to try again a producer sir hearing it so he will order it for you tonight oh is so, it yeah. okay <laughs> so i hope he's that. not ordered that same dish that is there in the movie because it was like oh <laughs> it was really like full dish. of yeah it was like full of coconut and it was bitter i mean uh, i love bitter gourd but then yeah if you want that one dish then that one dish would be um you make this uh, there's this this uh, sweet dish which is of banana right it's a ete kya pa ah yeah yeah Why yeah, yeah. Right. oh yeah i it's loved good. that when i was shooting for grandma in trivandrum uh, my friend vimla she ordered and uh, right. that was the first time that i had it and okay. i really loved it okay yeah. so you must try your kurikatta too that's also very nice oh is it <laughs> yeah it's it's, it's made in uh, steam too oh wow so oh. it wouldn't hamper your diet or okay. eating or much of that <laughs> right so, okay so you are a punjabi fm right yeah. so but you have actually majorly acted in tamil malayalam and telugu so what is it one malayalam word that have actually given you the most difficulty i'm like you were like can i just replace this word with something else how would you pronounce it some kind of word like that many i guess and uh, many uh, 
and honestly you know when i started shooting for malayalam film uh, that's when um, i realized that the language actually the way it is spoken is something that makes it more difficult for me to understand but uh, when i was actually taking the prompting and i was saying my dialogues it was as good as tamil so okay. you know so i i i could relate to it i i could uh, express since i know tamil so yeah but uh, uh, in the beginning it, it was difficult in all the languages it's not only about malayalam but i think many words like that and i've said many words wrong on the sets and people have bursted out laughing, laughing. because there was another meaning to it so yeah so many words like that i i don't remember any one word about okay. it yeah so now that we are talking about the difficult malayalam word can we just play a small game with a malayalam tongue twister Oh okay. wow. Uh, okay. It's like one of the most favorite Malayalam tongue twister for almost all of us. So, oru paral urulan. Paraline eduthu urutti urulin mel vachal. Urul urulumo, paral urulumo. Yes, I told it right. <laughs> <laughs> I was like a bit scared if I am going to mispronounce it. Oru paral, paral means fish. Okay. And ural means I don't know how to tell it. I don't know this English name. It's that big stick that you use to powder the rice, no? Ah, the old okay. people used okay. to do. Yeah. All right. So, oru paralne eduthu urulin mel vachal. ஒரு பரலன் ஐ அம் ஜஸ்ட் गोइंग टू मेक इट अ बिट मोर सिंपल फॉर यू ओके सो ஒரு பரலன் எடுத்து ஒரு பரலன் எடுத்து உருட்டி உருளின் மேல் வச்சால் உருட்டி உருமின் உரு உருளின் மேல் வச்சால் உருளில் மேல் வச்சால் ஆ பரல் உருளுமோ பரல் உருமனோ பரல் உருளுமோ பரல் உருமனோ உருள் உருளுமோ ஓகே ஈவன் ஐ அம் கெட்டிங் கன்ஃபியூஸ் வித் யூ ஓகே ஐ திங்க் தட் த த அந்த பே இல்லையா அந்த grandma will pay varanam oh yeah i know exactly so <laughs> i actually heard bad. that while the shooting for grandma was progressing you were a bit scared to stay in your hotel room alone appo edha bayapadra ninga inda vella saara la pota anda palla kaatti vera anda pay yeah i mean anything any kind of sound also i was getting scared because i was like shooting throughout some scary scenes and uh, ஒரு மாதிரி இருக்கும் இல்ல யூ யூ கெட் இன் டு ஒன் ஜோன் வென் யூ ஷூட் ஃபார் சச் ஃபிலிம்ஸ் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் மை ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஹாரர் மூவி ஸோ இட் வாஸ் அ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் ஃபார் மீ அண்ட் இட் வாஸ் டிஃபிகல்ட் ஃபார் மீ டு ஸ்டே இன் சைட் த ரூம் டில் விம்லா கேம் அண்ட் ஜாயின் மீ அண்ட் மூமெண்ட் ஷி கேம் ஐ வாஸ் ரிலாக்ஸ் ஐ வாஸ் லைக் ஓகே ஐ கேன் ரன் அவே இவன் இஃப் சம்திங் ஐ ஃபீல் இன் சைட் த ரூம் ஐ கேன் ஜஸ்ட் ரன் ஐ லைக் விம் சேவ் மீ So actually like I have heard that many times when you join uh, the sets of a horror movie some supernatural experience you will be witnessing some supernatural experiences so have you like had witnessed or like gone through some experience like that but then uh, on the sets it's like you know I'm doing the scene with another artist and we are yeah. talking something and behind you there's a frame it just suddenly falls and I'm like wow, wow. <laughs> something okay. happened and yeah I mean I mean I you know it's like you're talking and there's some serious dialogues going on and and the take is going on and suddenly something falls from behind and i was like shocked and i was scared so my director was like i would have taken that one you know shot of that to get that, that yeah, reaction that reaction the most natural reaction i know so yeah a lot of things happened that way and then eventually you know um everyone started talking some different stories that they have experienced in their lives and everything so that made it all the more difficult beyond one point i was like i don't want to listen to any stories please don't tell me any horror stories or any any incidents that you guys have experienced so basically it was like the friday night at a hostel room oh yeah it was like at the hostel rooms we would be sharing all these spooky stories yeah, right? yeah. so it was like that yes so, so it, it have been it's like more than a decade since you have been into the film industry and it was kind of at the peak of your career that like you got married and then it was a bit of difficult journey which you have managed to walk through quite gracefully so now that you look back at your younger self what would be that one advice you would give to your that younger person the younger sonia gowal i actually believe a lot in destiny so uh, no matter whatever you plan things don't go that way okay things go the way your uh, uh, things are planned above there so you know i believe in that but uh, i i just feel that if at all we had to plan and if things go right our way and there are mistakes that we make so uh, i think when you're young you 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 uh, the major focus should be your work and uh, you know rest everything comes along with it and i feel that you know um nowadays right now things have changed men are encouraging women to work and you know so it's not like okay either you get married or you work 
so that. so that's something that you know i see that uh, that happening now and uh, i'm happy about that but i experienced something else okay. which was also my journey and i experienced it it was my destiny it happened and it's left behind and i'm happy the way i am today and i'm happy after uh taking that break also coming back whatever work i'm doing or i've done i'm happy with it so i'm content as long as i'm content you have to be content with yourself and you have to be content with what god is offering you so i think that is one lesson that i've learned that you know be content like it's not always about the destiny but also about the journey journey and and just be happy about everything that is happening around you i mean you will have your sad moments you will have your good moments enjoy everything you it's it's part and parcel of life in the initial phase of your acting career actually like you have been a part of two movies which had got the a rating the kadal content of course it was like the best movie uh that was my first movie where i saw you and it was like oh my god she's an angel and then we we had the seven children book only right that was also an amazing movie yeah. uh, actually it was kind of a family movie yeah. it were had messages that needs to be conveyed to the family audience especially yeah. kadal content yeah but still it have got uh, uh, the a certification because of the violence and other stuff mm. but has it affected your image or your acting career in any way no Not at all. No, not okay. at all. Because I think it all depends the way your director shows it. To that. And uh, it was, uh, it was something that was shown as the part of the film. It went in a flow. So okay. suddenly, if you're uh, going on one track of you know emotions and you uh, just come out with something you know weird, which is not, which is glamorous and which is. uh uh something there's that is not going with the it. flow there's no logic to it then you know people think differently i feel but uh, if you talk about kalkundain or if you talk about 7g in fact even if you talk about uh, thirittu pehle even in that i mean i didn't have any close scenes with the hero but i did have like the swim suit uh, shorts and everything but i did it because it had logic and i cannot be wearing a churidar and coming out of a pool or i can't be wearing like you know coming out of the ocean or anything like that all wet so i i felt there was logic to it and uh, people have always seen me till today i mean on my insta or all the fans that i happen to meet uh, in person people always come and you know say your your are angel or you know they haven't seen me in that way so i i feel it was just the way it was i i have to be thankful to the directors who have uh, uh, shown me in that way and you know yeah but these days i have heard i'm like certain uh, celebrities were getting attacked like they might be pinched or they might be slapped by the fans yeah. who are gathering around so have you like have had any strangest experience or like scary experience from them you know what i i would not call them fans first of all people who yeah. do that do they that. they are not fans yeah because fans won't do that to you would never do that to yeah you. so uh, uh, it's not nowadays i feel uh, i've seen many videos a lot of actresses have been harassed inside like you know when they go for different events and uh, they are in in between crowd in in between some kind of gathering or crowded place and they have people don't make a way for them you know so i i first of all as i said i don't call them fans and i i feel really bad that uh, i feel bad on the upbringing of such men who who think that they can just touch you and you know just they take you for way. granted so it's not about actresses even for a normal girl i think it is like that they cannot as a woman we have to be very careful going inside the crowd we have to cover ourselves you know it's 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 just about the mentality and i hope it changes for good so just before winding up i would just like to get into a smaller segment uh, i call it go crazy segment okay. because like you are you have always been this graceful person so we would just like to see how crazy you can be <laughs> okay so i'm just going to ask you a few question and it's like it's a random questions i don't know how crazy it is okay. anyhow I mean your favorite color man pink pink okay so my first question is how would you describe pink to a blind person suppose i am like a wow. blind person how would you describe to me how pink looks like that's quite a task i mean i've never thought about it but yeah how how do i explain what pink is i don't know what language they understand honestly i've never had any kind of uh, uh, interaction with a blind uh, person so uh, but uh, 
uh, what is pink? Um, I mean, how, how do I explain if they've not seen anything? So, uh, I mean, what makes pink special for you? Or like, some sometimes we connect colors to hope. Really, I'm like emotions, like hope stuff. I mean, like okay, something so, like that. So, if so to. if it is uh, emotion, then something uh, like you know, love. Okay, cool. And uh, yeah, I think love and you know that that one emotion of like you feel cute. Okay. And so that is pink okay. for me. So if I have to like maybe connect, as you said, you know, I have to uh, say to that person with the with this link of emotions, then maybe I'll tell them, you know, it's something like where you feel love or you feel, you know, you feel cute. That's fair. Yeah. When you see little girls, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the next question is, if you could compare yourself to an animal, what would it be and why? I think... Um, I don't know. I mean, for me, if, if... Okay, my first thought, you know, what my first thought is, maybe a, a, a lion or a tigress or something like that, you know. Awesome. Yeah, uh, a more powerful. Alpha but then, yeah. But then again, um, I I love. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean that that's the first animal that's coming in my head. Yeah, just because they're powerful. Not only because of that, but yeah, I mean it's just the personality. So two more questions in, and then we are done with the crazy round. Right. So it's like we have like twenty eight states, right? Hmm. Okay. So. <gasps> What? Okay, no, no, go ahead. <laughs> okay, no, no, I'm not going to test your GK because my GK is pretty bad than yours, definitely. So, my question is, if the government of ask, uh, India is approaching you and like they are asking you to take off one state, okay, we are just going to get rid of this state. You just name one. Oh, no, I mean, India will be incomplete if I do that and I would not want to do something like that. Yeah, so I think each state has, I mean, when we, we see, uh, you know, uh, on TV, I see Republic Day function and, you know, these uh, different states are coming all together and their cultures we see on screen. It is so beautiful. So why that's would, why, yeah, yeah, that's that's what makes it India. And I, I love it the way it is. And uh, I don't think that I would want to do something. Right. So, the last question of the Go Crazy Coin stream being, what is it one thing you like and doesn't like about Kerala? I like the greenery, I love the rains over here, I love the backwater okay. and so this is like, yeah, and this is my most favourite place to come if I have to decide on vacation. I think it will be always Kerala okay. and uh, the thing that I hate about it is I would say coconut in the food too much coconut in the food I, that. <laughs> I saw that coming up yeah. <laughs> okay but actually you should try this coconut bowl okay it's okay. really good no yeah. it's not My that I hate coconut it's okay. not about that but uh, yeah I mean you know I love coconut barfi I love coconut laddus and you know I love coconut to have raw co coconut and I love coconut water like that I like it but you know uh, I'm more of a person who likes spicy food okay. so so uh, maybe because coconut makes it a little more bland, so that doesn't go well with me. Yeah. Right, cool. So that was really nice talking to you. Thanks to you. Thank you so much. And that was Sonia Gabul, ma'am, for us. We will meet later again. So it's me, Dakshara Vidana, signing out for India Clets. Bye-bye.